for many for athletes and runners around the world. Sunday is picked out as the long run day. So a day where you go out, not with hard effort, easy effort, and yeah, just try and build up volume in the run, keeping it cruisy all the time, getting that aerobic pace endurance as high as possible. However, at the same time, especially in the UK, running events and races, triathlon events and races, pretty much all sporting events are also scheduled on a Sunday. So, the genius that I am, or the idiot, some of you may call me, have decided to piece together the two. So I'm starting off here, Sunday 21st of May 2023, with a nice easy controlled pace run. update on what I've been up to. Um, just finished up my university exams, which means as long as I've passed, I've now finished up my third year, my penultimate year, studying computer science at the University of Glasgow. Yeah, buddy. The exams themselves went okay. Maybe could have done a wee bit more studying, but fingers crossed I've passed them all. And yeah, that's me now. With this race here, as you can see, because I'm doing this easy aerobic, longer effort before it, I'm not taking it super serious. Okay. But I'd still, instead of just doing a race simulation and training, I thought it'd be better just to do an actual race. Nice. In terms of where my current training is at, I'd say my aerobic level. Run, bike, and run. Is it in a great place at the moment? My swimming, even sort of up to the threshold, is good. But yeah, anything over threshold, the technique still falls apart. And that top thing to be. Where want to be working on over the next couple. Of weeks. Looking at this past week of training, I have managed. To slightly increase the volume. So finishing off this week, including this run workout today, I should end up at about 20 hours or so. So yeah, definitely a small step up, but it's something that has to just be increased. Just now made it onto the last sort of two kilometre section of the route. Made it here quite a bit earlier than what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, guess it'll be good to regroup, get some more caffeine, get some energy in, then time to go full gas. And there we go, if we can call that a warm up, that's 14k, nice and easy done. Heart rate a wee bit higher than usual on average. What are these guys doing? But yep, time just now, I probably left the house just after 12 to 11. That's about an hour and 10 of running, so it's probably just about quarter to 12, 10 to 12. So, a wee bit earlier, like I was saying, than expected. Just try to keep my legs loose. And, yep. A wee bit earlier. So, tell me on there, but I'll never So, after the first run there, we get the caffeine boost once again. We're going to drink an unnamed, unsponsored drink. 
This should hopefully give me some wings. Well guys, there we have it, as you probably seen from the videos at the end there. First place for me. Managed to blitz it. Because we'd raked the route earlier on in the week, I knew the first 4k I could just go full gas there and hope that I could recover enough on the descents. Of course, on the descents, got to just after 5k and this big massive fly went am I? It was absolutely agony and it wasn't wanting to come out. Um, but I managed to power through it, kept going, couldn't hear anyone running behind me, so, and I didn't look back, pushed through it, and then, yeah, home straight, finish, champion. So now it's time to go and get the medal, get the trophy, and yeah, we'll go from there. So essentially what happened here was at first, they gave the first, second and third trophies out to the wrong people. But yeah, they were quick to resolve it, and I eventually got my first place finisher's trophy. Is Adam Templeton here? Uh, you won. I saw you coming across the lane. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Hey! And there we have it. Now back. Had lunch, had a shower, a bit more time to reflect on the race. And I have to say, yeah. It's great to finally get my first win in a, an open road race. Um, my time that I recorded on my watch was 34.12, which, again, I'm pretty happy with. I'd say with current run fitness, that reflects where I'm at. On that course, you probably could have gone quite a bit faster, but the first kilometre was flat, and we went through it in about 3.20. Um, and considering most of the time that like, Paisley 10k, the first k is maybe like 3.05, yeah, it's... Um, it wasn't too aggressive, which was quite nice to work into it. Definitely wrecking the route during the week. That was well worth it. Just I knew the first 4k was the majority of the uphill. And yeah, I just had to block the other guy. There was me and another guy for the first couple of k running side by side. Um, and yeah, I just had to blitz my way. Then on the downhill, open up the stride to get away from him. Then, as you've seen probably from the clips, uh, at 5k, that massive fly went in my eye. It was very, very sore. Finally got it out. Um, my eye, my left eye still doesn't feel great. But yeah, managed to get it out, thank goodness. Powered on home. The last 3k was a bit of a struggle. Definitely was burst by that point. Uh, but held on strong and came across the line in first. Again, I want to say a big thank you to the Grave Valley Rotary Club for hosting the event. It is well organised um, and yeah, all the marshals that were out in the course, there was plenty of them directing the way. There was the lead bike, that was perfect as well. Um, and then the spread that they had on the end was great. Of course, reflecting on this race, it is a lot easier when you do get the victory. The results actually from everyone in the Templeton household today were really good. So yeah, smiles all round. But with this one, I know I could have ran faster given more time training specifically for it. So definitely from here, it's not to become complacent, just to keep working hard. And like I was saying earlier in the video, the training week leading into this was pretty big. Um, that was probably like just about over 20 hours. I should have the stat on the screen somewhere here. Um, so yeah, pretty big week, but it's those weeks back to back to back to back that make the top athletes. So yeah, from here, I'll keep training hard. I hope your training is going well also. And the next couple of videos from here, in a couple of weeks time, we're away on holiday. So we should be able to get some nice clips in the sun. I'll catch you then.